Welcome to another episode of AJ Sports Podcast where I go out, I predict every single bowl game of the 2022 college football season. A lot of bowl games. Um, some, there's going to be some I'll just go over quickly. And there's some that are going to be a little more easier to figure out. So let's start with the Bahamas Bowl. I had UAB winning. 35-14. The Cure Bowl, pretty interesting matchup. UTSA versus Troy. UTSA has um, some injuries. I think Troy is just a healthier team. And I think they'll win 34-24. The Fenway Bowl, Cincinnati and Louisville. Both teams don't have their starting quarterbacks. I, I just think that Cincinnati just has the more talent. And I think they'll beat Louisville 27-13. The Las Vegas Bowl is going to be a mess. Anthony Richardson's not playing. Their other backup quarterback kicked off the team. I think Oregon State blows them out. My score prediction, 41-14. The LA Bowl, Fresno State and Washington State. I think Fresno State's just a hotter team. Um, They've been been going on some winning streak. And a lot of some key players, key wide receivers, and their best linebacker are missing are gonna be gone for this bowl game. So I give Fresno State the nod, 38 to 14. The Lending Tree Bowl, that's Southern Miss being right 27 to 10. That was kind of quick. The Frisco Bowl, Boise State versus North Texas. I think this game could be a shootout. Boise State has a mediocre offense, but Texas, North Texas has a bad defense. Oh, North Texas has a pretty solid offense. I think it's going to even out. I, I just I just think Boise State is just going to... I think they're going to score on that North Texas. I think North Texas not so good defense is going to cost them. And I'm going to give Boise State in a 42-35 shootout. The Myrtle Beach Bowl. UConn, who has made their first bowl game, I don't know, in years. They take on Marshall. I think Marshall wins 28-13. I just, they're just simply, in my opinion, the better team. Eastern Michigan versus San Jose State and the famous Idaho Potato Bowl. I have Eastern Michigan winning 34-23. Boca Raton Bowl. Even though Liberty's going to have a lot of transfers, I just simply think... No, I, no, I actually had Toledo winning 31-20. to um, Mostly due to Hugh Freeze. Um, no longer coaching there. He's going to take the job at Auburn, as we all know. New Orleans Bowl, South Alabama versus Western Kentucky. I think this game has the potential to be a shootout, even though Western Kentucky's got, got some players missing. I think it's going to be a shootout. I think South, South Alabama's just going to... They're going to get the win this one. 45-41. I think it's going to be a shootout. Armed Forces Bowl... This game, this game is very, very interesting. Baylor and Armed Forces. Baylor has a lot of disappointment this year. Very, very disappointing. And Air Force, they're a solid team. I think Baylor's just a better team. I'm going to win 27-24. The Independence Bowl, Houston versus Louisiana. Once again, I just think Houston's just a better team, and I think they'll win 55-31. That's the Gasparilla Bowl. Wake Forest versus Missouri. Missouri is missing a lot of guys. Um, Wake Forest, once again. And, and, that, that, and that's some of these games are just back to which teams are just going to have more people. You know, you have transfer portals. Just stupid opt outs and plus injuries. I think I just think I think Wake Forest just handles them. Forty eight twenty eight. That's the next game. Hawaii Bowl. Um, I have Middle Tennessee winning against San Diego State twenty four to fourteen. The Quick Claim Bowl. I have Bowling Green winning against New Mexico State thirty four to twenty. The Miller Bowl. I have Georgia Southern beating Buffalo thirty seven thirty four. The first responder bowl, Memphis versus Utah State. I think Memphis wins 
The Birmingham Bowl, Coastal Carolina versus East Carolina. I kind of see that game can get to a little bit of a shootout with Coastal Carolina winning 45-38. The Guaranteed Raid Bowl, Oklahoma State versus Wisconsin. No, both don't have their starting quarterbacks. Both rosters are just decimated. A bunch of opt-outs, transfer portals. Uh, you get the idea. Uh, so, I just think this is going to be a game where Brennan Allen just takes charge. I think he's going to have 150-plus rushing yards. And they'll, they'll win in a 23-10 game. Duke, I just, UCF, once again, a lot of transfer portals, a lot of folks out there getting out of there. Uh, Duke wins 41-21. Kansas versus Arkansas. Uh, I kind of see Arkansas just as the better team. Um, even though Kansas had a great season, I just, I think Arkansas wins this game 38-20. Holiday Bowl. This will be pretty interesting to watch. Um, Drake May is going is going to stay at North Carolina. I this is going to be. I think this will definitely be a shootout. Oregon is going to win fifty two to forty two. I think I think Bo Nix is probably going to be able to scramble around a little bit more than what he was able to do um, the last few games of the season. We were a little banged up. He was a little bit more of a statue. Um, I, in North Carolina's defense is just awful. Um, Oregon, I see them winning. The Texas Bowl, Ole Miss versus Texas Tech. Once again, I just see Ole Miss as the better team. And I see them win 33 to 28. The Pinstripe Bowl, uh, I think this game is just going to be a slog. Uh, Minnesota is going to, I think they're going to have Muhammad Ibrahim control the run, ground game because Tanner Morgan's probably not going to play. And and they'll win twenty one to seven. The Cheez It Bowl, um, I don't see Oklahoma standing a chance. They're missing their two best tacklers. Eric Gray's opted out. And this Florida State is just gonna kill them. I I predict a fifty six seventeen national team. I, I just I see it happening. Florida State's a better team. Oklahoma season's just has not been good at all. Brent Venables has had a bad first year. Now, it doesn't mean you can't turn it around. There's a lot of coaches that turn around after bad first seasons, but for this season, Oklahoma's a lost cause. They're done. The Alamo Bowl, um, Texas versus um, Washington. And I picked Washington to win simply because B.J. Robertson ain't going to play. It's that simple. B.J. Robertson's kind of that offense, and Washington, I think, is just going to, they're going to score points. Michael Penix, the weapons they have, they're just going to rack in points. And without Bijan Robinson, the Texans just won't be able to keep up. I have them winning 49 to 27. The Duke's Mayo Bowl, I, have, I see Maryland beating NC State 34 to 17. I don't see NC State having business being ranked. They shouldn't be ranked. They're mediocre in a bad ACC conference. And they win. And then they, no, NC State loses. 34 to 17. The Sun Bowl, UCLA versus Pittsburgh. Um, I, think Pitt, I think Pittsburgh can run the ball a little bit, but UCLA is just the better team. They'll win 35 21. The Gator Bowl is pretty interesting. You know, South Carolina is. They're going to miss their best running back. They're going to miss their two best tight ends. But Notre Dame. No longer have their good quarterback. And I, I just think South Carolina's still on the hot streak. I just see them winning 34-27. The, the Arizona Bowl, Ohio, Ohio versus Wyoming. I think Ohio wins 24-10. The Music City Bowl, Kentucky versus Iowa. This game is going to suck. Will Levis ain't going to play. Chris Rodriguez ain't going to play. Spencer Peters ain't going to play, even though he's terrible. Um, it's going to be an embarrassment. It, it won't. It, it's not going to be a defensive show. It's just going to be a sad offensive game with execution. And you have the Iowa offense with Patrick's Fireation Gate. And Kentucky's offense, I don't know what. I don't know why they're bad. But I see Kentucky winning 17 7. Rilla Quest Bowl, Mississippi State versus Illinois. I think Mississippi State win just simply because they're going to be amped up um, for obvious reasons. 
and they're gonna they're gonna play this one for Mike Leach, who's passed on, and I see Mississippi State winning thirty five to twenty. Citrus Bowl, Purdue versus LSU. Purdue screwed. No Ann O'Connell. No Charlie Jones. You know what the result is? An L. LSU wins 34-14. Now we get to the major bowls. Um, Clemson versus Tennessee. DJ Ugalele, um, he's transferred. Um, a lot of players have transferred, opted out, injuries. Just a mess for Clemson. But Tennessee doesn't have their two best receivers. Cedric Tillman, Jalen Hyatt. Also, Hen Hooker is, of course, gone for the year. You know Joe Milton. I, I think Joe Milton will have a solid game. Um, but I just think without the two best weapons, with Kate Klubnick as quarterback, I see Clemson winning 31-24. to The Sugar Bowl. This is, gonna, this is a very interesting game. I feel 2013 vibes. Remember when Alabama went to the Sugar Bowl 2013 after losing the Iron Bowl and Oklahoma beat them? People are going to write off Kansas State. You don't know if Bryce Young's going to play, Jalen Gibbs, Will Anderson. Who the hell knows? I just, I just, I have 2013 vibes. I just see Kansas State just upsetting them 38 to 31. Alabama's just not a disciplined team. You don't see that under Nick Saban. They're just not as good as we've seen in the past decade. And you know what? That happens. That happens. The Cotton Bowl, um, I just don't see this game being competitive. Um, Tulane is... I think Caleb Williams, Caleb Williams is probably going to play. USC is going to have their full-blown offense. And I just, USC will win 55-30. to 30. T I think Tulane will score some points because USC's defense is really not that good. But it ain't going to matter much as they're not going to stop that USC offense. The Rose Bowl, this is a very, very interesting one. I had a hard time picking this one. Penn State's without their best quarter. Joey Porter Jr., their left tackle, is not going to play. He was hurt. Parker Washington dropped out. But Utah, their best tight end, the, best, the second best tight end in the country, Dalton Kincaid, has opted out. That's a blow, but I still have Utah winning. 41 to 31. I just I just think it's their time. I think they're gonna they're gonna step up their game. They're gonna avenge their Rose Bowl loss from last year. So I think Utah beats Penn State in the Rose Bowl. The playoffs. Michigan versus TCU. I think this game's gonna be competitive in the first half. You, I won't be surprised if TCU leaves. The problem is they're not as Michigan is the most physical team in the game. JJ McCarthy can step up when the time's needed. They can run the ball even without Blake Quorum. Donovan Edwards has proven that. And I just think Michigan is just too good. They'll win 42-27. to I think it'll be a solid game. And that will be the Fiesta Bowl. The Peach Bowl, um, Georgia versus Ohio State. Ohio State decimated. Their two best running backs won't play. Um, both Travion Henderson and uh, Mayan Williams. Jackson Smith and Jimbo is not going to play, even though it probably won't matter. He's been hurt uh, the entire year. Georgia blows them out. I, I see a blowout. 45 to 21. They're not going to be able to run the ball. And if you're not going to be able to run the ball, your offense is compromised. Even though nobody has ran the ball in Georgia in I don't know how many years. It's been years since somebody can really run the ball against Georgia. Georgia's defensive line, they're just they're different. So the national title game will be Michigan versus Georgia after Nick. And a lot of people like to pick Georgia. I don't blame them. I just think it's Michigan's time. I, Michigan, they have the balance. They have the defense. They have the physicality. They have the quarterback. I just think all that, even though Stetson has played really well against good teams this year, something, something tells me that this it's Michigan's time. You know, Michigan will win their first national title since they split 97 with Michigan and Nebraska. I just think Michigan will win the national title, and Jim Harbaugh will get his first title. And this will be a huge win for Michigan. A little bit of a blow for Georgia, but Georgia will be fine. I, I just see Michigan 
She's playing her best game, and and I just think George is going to make that one like small error, and it, it will cost him. And if Vlad McConkey isn't healthy, that doesn't help him either. You know, I I do expect them to at least make it in the national title game. I, I think I don't see how State has a chance about their two best players us. So there you go. Those are my 2022-23 bowl predictions. So that'll be it. So for this certain episode, thanks for watching.